This time last year I released a video of my top 5 landscape photography YouTubers to look out for in 2019 and I've decided to do it again for 2020 and share my top 5 to look out for in 2020. Now in the world of YouTube there's a myriad of options for people to be able to watch and there's huge amounts of uploads that are happening every day. To give you an idea there are 500 hours of YouTube content uploaded every minute of every day. So you know it's huge the amount of volume of, and the choice that people would have to be able to watch on YouTube. And this is why I made the previous video and I want to make this video because it's hard enough to be able to be seen on YouTube as it is. Now there's a big audience on YouTube, I think it's 1.3 billion people are viewing uh, YouTube, but for you to get your content seen I think it's a very hard challenge. So sit back and enjoy my top 5 landscape photography YouTubers to look out for in 2020. First on my list is my co-host of the Irish Photography Podcast, friend and very talented photographer, Dermot O'Donovan. Now, Dermot only started his YouTube journey in January, actually, of this year. Now, okay, granted, I had to kind of prod him a bit and push him, but I only did that because I knew he had the talent, the vision, the ability, and also the gear to enable him to make the videos. And boy, does he like gear. A fellow Irishman, Dermot has photography in his bones. When he's not shooting weddings, portraits, or products, He's always got a camera in his hand even when he's not working from a professional point of view because when he steps out into the landscape that's when he really comes alive. His relaxed approach, his meticulous attention to detail and settings make sure he nails the shot almost every time. Beautiful b-roll, stunning shots and tasty time lapses are quickly becoming a staple part of his YouTube channel. And to top all this off with his underwater scuba vlogs, it really does put him in a league of his own. And oh, did I mention he likes gear? Well, he started to make some fantastic videos as well on things that he loves most, which are all things shiny. So I'd really urge you, go look at his channel, go check it out, hit that subscribe button and enjoy the content that he has to offer. Yeah, my camera is so much better than his. I promise you. Oh! I forgot to mention, I have a 30 megapixel camera, he's only got a 26 megapixel camera. Oh, better viewfinder, more quality in the, the EVF. I think it's, uh, I've got more focus points, 5,500 and something, he's only got 4,000 something. Give me a second now, I think I've more on my list here, on my phone, look. I definitely have them. Uh, oh, his only goes to 4,000 a second, mine goes to 8,000. And, oh, I got eight frames per second, he's only got, it seems there must be something in the water in Northern England because the amount of landscape photography vloggers that come out of there is huge. Paul has a relaxed approach to photography on the surface, but it's clear that underneath his mind is in overdrive trying to find the right composition and the perfect light. Releasing his first vlog in May 2018, Paul has pushed hard and really improved at photos, video, presenting and even his editing at a fast pace. He has also recently collaborated with the two biggest professional messers on YouTube, Kevin Hardcastle and Adam Gibbs. Paul will take you on adventures far and wide and I'm sure he will be very quickly on your watch list, just like he's on mine. So what are you waiting for? Jump on over to Paul's channel after this and hit that subscribe button and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So we've finished shooting down in the bottom there. We're just making our way back up towards the car park because it's a pretty long drive to get in here. It's about three to four hours to get in here because it's all on logging roads. But it's absolutely beautiful in here. You could spend hours, probably days in here looking at various compositions. Absolutely beautiful. Back in Ireland now for another fantastic photographer, also from Limerick. His name is Sean O'Reardon. Sean has a fantastic eye for a photo and his method of capturing the photo is really, really structured. And his explanations of how he does that are really, really good and clear. They're very easy to follow, just like a teacher. You'd swear he was one. Well, I think he actually is. Now for me to include Sean here is actually technically kind of cheating because he decided to stop vlogging recently, more so to concentrate on the image. However, you will find him on Instagram from time to time sharing live stories and live adventures, either on his own Instagram page or on the very popular hub 
the full Irish. Sean has captured some fantastic shots recently and a lot of them, if I'm being honest with you, I'm jealous when I see the conditions that he gets. I for one hope that Sean gets back in front of the camera again soon and starts vlogging. And in the meantime, you can check out some amazing footage of Ireland on his YouTube channel. So why not jump over, watch some of that content and maybe leave him a comment and say to him, when are you going to start vlogging again, Sean? We take a trip across the big pond now to America to a photographer who's going to take us on journeys around the many beautiful national parks. Diego sees photography as more than a hobby. It's a time when he can truly interact with nature in a really personal way. And this is clear when you watch his videos. Diego is a great storyteller and shows us how he approaches photography, the shoot, the scene, and the feeling that it gives him to be out in nature and at one with the landscape. Diego has a very warm personality and at times you feel like you're there with him sharing that landscape in the many national parks around the USA. If you want to see gorgeous locations, photos and fantastic storytelling, go check out his channel today. You won't regret it. So I feel like this trip has absolutely been me just running around everywhere trying to film, trying to photograph and trying to capture special moments of light here in Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. And I think that just has to do a lot with the time of year that it is here. But really, despite the challenges, you can really, really capture some special moments of fantastic light. And that's what's going on right now with this scene. Um, so I'm actually heading back into Utah and as I was driving, I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't stop myself from pulling over and photographing this scene. I'm going for a panorama, so I really, I need to go ahead and take these images now, but I'm going to try and stitch about nine images together of this fantastic, lovely scene of low-hanging cloud and breaking light. The blue tones, the yellow tones, they're all there, they're all present, and it's just looking fantastic. Now I said at the beginning the UK seems to produce quite a lot of landscape vloggers and we're back there again for my final one. We're going up north now to Scotland and we're about to go on adventures around the stunning location with Adam Wadger Catcher Russell. I had the pleasure this year of actually spending time with Adam and myself and my co-host of the Irish Photography Podcast went on our own adventure around Northumberland and Adam joined us. And right from the get-go it was very clear that Adam was exactly as how I saw him on his YouTube video. A talented photographer, a down-to-earth guy and somebody who was really focused on his photography and his YouTube channel. Adam shows us all sides of photography, the good, the bad and the absolutely awesome, all while waffling along in his Scottish tones. Adam recently released a video on mental health and I would really encourage you to go watch it. So go check out his channel and hit that subscribe button. I got soaked, had a hell of a storm on us, but oh by God, I've enjoyed my evening. I've enjoyed my day, but tonight has been astounding. The weather has been dramatic. The light has been phenomenal. These are the days that I love being a landscape photographer. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope you jump over to those guys' channels and hit that subscribe button and start enjoying their content as much as me. Who do you watch? Who do you think I should watch? Who inspires you? And who do you think should be a lot bigger than what they are actually on YouTube? Let me know in the comments below and oh, if it's your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button too, please. And until the next time, thanks for watching and schlonga forward.